everybody, my name is Coach Shadogs to War Book Book for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update from Alton Towers. Now, this is all about looking at the final pieces of construction and the few finishing touches ready for the world of David Williams to open on Saturday, March 21st, the opening day of the season. Now, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media, and make sure you get questions in for the Q&A, the 1,500 subscriber Q&A. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. Big shout outs go to Brian Galeas and a special shout out to Thorax Changeling uh, who told me his cat passed away so unfortunate to hear that. Um, my thoughts are with your family and friends at this time. Uh, I know how difficult a pet uh, passing can be. Uh, I've been through it myself so I know how difficult it can be so my, all my love goes out to you guys and your family. Um, so if you want a shout out, if you've got an occasion or anything you want to shout out or a person you want to shout out without them knowing uh, that you want to shout out, then please put it in the comments down below. Uh, and for now guys, let's get into this particular video. So let's, uh, let's talk about Alton Towers and the world of David Williams. So um, we do have some other little details for the, 20, for the 40th anniversary in 2020 as well, which I'm going to talk to you about as well. Uh, but this is all about the world of David Williams and the final touches being made to the brand new area. Now, uh, you can find some specific images on Twitter at Immersive Memes, I believe it is, um, where it was serviced day on Saturday. And we managed to get an inside look at the world of David Williams and what was going on uh, in the finishing touches. So. I'm going to share with you all the details. Obviously, I can't share the images because they uh, it's their images. It's at Immersive Memes Images. Um, but, uh, big shout out to that Twitter account. Please go and follow it. Uh, but, while I put you a generic World David Williams image on your screen, I'm going to talk to you about what's basically been happening from these images. So, on your screen now, find a bit Aussie. Uh, that is just a little shot of the World David Williams, just like a generic shot. But, let me tell you what's been going on then. So, um, you can, basically there was like a foam sort of archway, uh, sort of in front of the fence. Now, in my opinion, that is not, conf that is not permanent, that is temporary. Uh, that'll be for the opening of the area. Uh, and basically, yeah, this is all about showing the, uh, this is going to be for like the opening, like the grand opening of the area. So, uh, they'll take that down sort of when they've officially opened the area because you can see behind it like the books and like an archway uh, with the books holding up the archway. So, that'll be like the main entrance area um, of the area, basically. Uh, the theatre, that has been painted up lovely, nice and lovely. Uh, in like a rainbow colour on top, on like on the roof panel, and there was like a clock. So I definitely think they could put a show in there as a phase two in 2021. Um, and I was looking closer at that. They did have a closer image to look at the like a part of the archway and of course the theatre as well. Uh, and of course there is a poster outside the Wobble World building, the old Wobble World building that's coming along really, really well. Um, that's all been painted up lovely, it's going to look like the, the Crown Royal Tour and things like that. Now one big thing to mention is the Royal Carousel, which is the rethemed Gallopers Carousel, that is being moved over to the Toadstool site, the Twilling Toadstool site, of course that was a former Wave Swinger attraction that closed a few years ago for the Towers Living Care program. That has been removed, that isn't coming back, uh, nothing is happening to that site in terms of new things however, uh, the Gallopers Carousel is being moved, which I guess is strategic. Uh, in a way, uh, because you sort of don't want nothing in that space, I guess. Um, so, in terms of the Gangster Granny exterior, uh, loads of stuff is uh, being taken place over the last few days. Um, as it, well, basically, the whole facade starting to get painted up, as I told you. Uh, the Frog Hopper, which has been rethemed to Raja's Bouncy Bottom Burp, that is being moved back to its old location in front of the Nickelodeon Out of Control Field building. And of course, as you may well know, Raja's shop is replacing the Wobble World Cafe. So, that is what the construction updates have been. However, that, my friends, is not all because. Um, 
Bugby Go Round. Now, that is a name that you'd never thought you'd hear me like say. <laughs> but that has appeared uh, on uh, the website. It's been on appearing in the app. Uh, now, we believe this is set to be a retheme of the Num Tums Number Go Round, which is, that was a retheme of the original Doodle Doo Derby attraction in the Old McDonald's Farmyard area before it was transformed into CBeebies Land back in 2014. So, on your screen now, find up noisy. That is the logo for the Bubby Go Round. Very nice logo. Does say, it, it does give me um, sort of vibes of a retheme. You can sit in your bug. Um, I don't think they put in a new attraction this like late on, so I think it is definitely going to be a retheme of Nontons rather than a new ride system. Uh, now, of course, we still don't know what's going to happen with Nina's Science Lab either, so I'd like to see some stuff happen with that. Uh, now, one other um, sort of major thing that they've announced, like the Coca-Cola Freestyles, they're going to be bringing them into the park as well, uh, like they did at Thought Park in the past. So that is a nice addition to Alton Towers as well. And another big thing as part of the 40th anniversary is the Model Your Map Variations. Now, I am going to do a social media lounge episode where I get to show you guys your map variations that you've sent in via Instagram. Send the, you can keep sending them in the description down below. I'm going to do that video in the summer um, when I've got more time, etc. But, uh, yeah, basically the three sort of major types of coasters that were mentioned in it was Crypt, which is like an underground coaster replacement of 13. Valley Looper, which is like a 20 looper, same theme as Nemesis, but replacement to Nemesis. Uh, and there was also the X Sector Indoor Water Coaster. So that was a replacement to Oblivion. Now, Nemesis, I think, will stay for, for a, a very long time. Oblivion, maybe. 13, who knows? Uh, so I think that... Uh, I know someone commented saying, you know, talk about this in a separate video. But I want to talk, talk a little about it now. You know, are they teasing potential plans? Now, we, I'm not going to say they are. But I know how people would love to think that they are. So I think that an indoor water coaster would be great. I think that an underground coaster, you look at Volcania, like I've reported on in the past, look what they're doing with their intimate multi-launch track drop coaster for 2021, themed to volcanoes and earthquakes. Um, and you look at the Valley Looper, obviously that probably won't happen. A 20 Looper would be absolutely insane, but I think 13 inversions is good enough for the Smiler. Um, bit of news actually on the Smiler, just while I'm thinking about the Smiler as well, there's a little bit of extra news. Uh, the old uh, process uh, TV screen uh, in the queue line has reappeared after a few years, so uh, that's a nice touch. Is that signs that in a couple of years time we'll get the correction theming back up again? Um, in a couple of seasons time, who knows? You never know. It could be the star. Uh, but we know that Smiler's queue line and the surrounding areas, the river jet wash as well, uh, a few weeks ago. So we know they're getting it ready for the start of the opening of the season. Now, of course, it was services day yesterday on Saturday. So that's what, well, on Saturday, not yesterday, but Saturday. <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically that's sort of where we got this construction updates from the world of David Williams from and over the last few weeks as well with the Smiler, what they're doing over there, the testing the rides, like they're doing at the other Merlin parks at Thorpe Park at Chessington. Uh, so, you know, um, good work over Alton Towers. So they're getting it ready. They're getting the st start of the season ready. Obviously, 21st of March, I'm, fingers crossed, going to be down there uh, for the opening of the World of David Williams. I've loved reporting on this new area. Uh, I should hopefully be there for the opening day to see what all these news reports and what I've reported on in the past come to light. And, you know, we've been talking about a Cloud Cuckoo Land re-theme for years now. And, you know, the fact that it's finally come true um, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see what it looks like, especially uh, one thing I'm looking for while I'm down there, if I'm down there on the 21st of March for the opening day of the season, which I hope they am. Um, one big thing I'm looking for is uh, how it looks next to the Alton Towers dungeon. You know, is there clear uh, plans to possibly just expand that area out, remove the dungeon for a new ride? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Uh, hopefully, we get some new stuff in the dungeon. Uh, it won't be big stuff like new scenes, etc. It'll just be like lighting changes, maybe some slight script changes, etc. Uh, just to freshen it up a bit. But other than that, I think the dungeon will remain the same. Same prices, same look, same scenes, etc. Uh, but it's still a good experience, so I'll still look forward to that. Thank you very much for watching this Alton Towers news update. It's quite an overall news update from Alton Towers today. Not just World of Devil Williams, but CBeebies Land, The Smiler, 
services day on Saturday and all these different things going off. So very exciting indeed. Thank you very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, keep on the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.